Psalm 51 is the greatest of the penitential psalms of the church, famously set to music by Allegri and used especially in Lent. It's traditionally understood to be linked originally to David's sin with Bathsheba. Although it might initially seem to be entirely negative about the human condition, notably in verse 5, which suggests that we are born as sinners, it also has a strong sense of God's grace and power to forgive. Its words therefore include divine cleansing and human renewal, as well as joyful thanks towards God. Who cannot be moved by phrases such as, Renew a right spirit within me, and, O give me the comfort of thy help again. These are the biddings which truly give delight to God. Have mercy upon me, O God, after thy great goodness. According to the multitude of thy mercies, do away mine offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, and clear when thou art judged. Behold, I was shapen in wickedness, and in sin hath my mother conceived me. But, lo, thou requirest truth in the inward parts, and shalt make me to understand wisdom secretly. Thou shalt purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear of joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Turn thy face from my sins, and put out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O oh, give me the comfort of thy help again, and establish me with thy free spirit. Then shall I teach thy ways unto the wicked, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blunt guiltiness, O God, thou that art the God of my health, and my tongue shall sing of thy righteousness. Thou shalt open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall show thy praise. For thou desirest no sacrifice, else would I give it thee, but thou delightest not in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a troubled spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, shalt thou not despise. O be favourable and gracious unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the burnt offerings and oblations. Then shall they offer young bullocks upon thine altar.